don't you stand over there so we have a little room and you stand over here. There we go. All right, so the, what I call the hand pivot point is this right here. Hold your hands right out here and pivot your bat. Your hands are simply inverted. My top hand becomes my bottom hand, my bottom hand becomes my top hand. Okay, so when I hold it like this, tip it to the pitcher, and then untip it, I get some speed. Okay, hold your hands still, untip it. Don't want our hands to move around, we just want a pivot here. Okay, this is basically how we swing the bat, only we don't do it from here. We hold our bat somewhere else, like right here. And now I'm going to do the same thing, and I'm going to let my leg turn as I do it. Very good. Don't push it. Leave your hands right here and turn it. Okay? I want you to hold this against your cheek right here. Okay? See where those hands are? I want them to stay right there the whole time. Do it slow at first. There you go. So you see your hands just kind of do this little half moon right below your chin. Okay, now just keep doing that and work up the speed, and pretty soon you can just really snap it. Okay, <clears throat> You're, you need to turn your hands more. You're doing this. We need the hands to turn this all the way through. There you go. Get it to here. Get it to here. Yeah. Okay. Now it's it's a it's a simultaneous move. It's this. It's this and this all at the same time. Okay. We gotta get, we gotta get that. We gotta get the hand to turn all the way through. Okay? Okay? So if you had a T right here, you want this barrel end to go right to the T. Okay? Okay? Alright? Your hands are going from your back shoulder to your front shoulder as you do. So it has to stay right here. And we pivot our hands. And we turn our leg and we're kind of dead. That's better. Okay? <clears throat> now make sure you're doing it from your back leg. If you're standing here with weight on both legs, what you're doing is going to happen every time. Your hands are going to go from here to here. But if you're standing on just one leg, now you can pivot on that leg and you can keep your hands right here the whole time. Okay? Okay? All right, <clears throat> so this is the hand pivot point. I want you to swing at a high pitch and hold it right there. High pitch, high pitch, okay? If you do it right, this should be above the forearm, and it is, okay? In other words, if this ever comes under your forearm or even with your forearm, you're pushing, you're pushing. If this is always up above this forearm, you're turning, you're pivoting, okay? So, when I'm on a high pitch, I get the knob end of this above my forearm. Now, I pitch down the middle, same thing, it's above my forearm. Very good. And a low pitch, same thing, it's above my forearm. So, we'll get there. you have to understand that the hands, the forearms, is what swings our back, not our body. Most kids just want to swing their body, and when they do that, they drag their barrel until it gets about here, and then they push it. And so that's a long swing, okay? We need a tight pivot of our hands. The forearm muscles is what do, does that. And then when we get a stretch with our leg, we get some power, we get a lot of power out of our body. But you gotta understand it's our hands and forearms that actually swing the bat. The body supports that. It's not the other way around. We don't swing with our body and then push with our hands a little bit. We swing it with our hands and the body supports it. Okay? Alright, hang these poles back up.